Hi, how are you? It's Travis in here, and welcome back to our adventures in Hardcore Classic WoW. Last episode, we slayed some orcs for their war banners, and today we are going to go back and burn down their catapults, and then defeat their leader, who I believe's name is Necrosh. But first, I think we are going to head over here and have a chat with Prospector Welgar. We'll see what's going on with those dinosaurs over there. Hope you guys are doing well today. I'm doing pretty good. Looking forward to hopefully taking down Heroic Glitch King this week. We might not do it though. We've been having issues with people taking vacations. <laughs> You really need your core group to take down the Lich King, I believe. But that's raiding, you know. You usually lose somebody like every week. It was even worse in 40 man classic WoW raiding. It's like every week you would miss, have like at least one person miss a raid. So you need a, a deep bench. That is for sure. Happy I don't run guilds anymore, though. They are a pain. Hardest boss for a guild is the recruitment boss. Just making sure you have, you know, 25 to 40 people raiding with you every week. And we'll do quite a bit of questing today. Try to get as much done as we can in the wetlands before we start moving north to South Shore. I think 35, 36 would be a good time to start doing all these dungeons we want to do. These quests from Nomaregan are starting to become all green except for the, the final one, Mech, the Grand Betrayal, where you have to slay. Mechchineer Thermoplug. Awesome pants. 30, 391 armor and 5D. It's quite a bit of armor. I don't know if that's better than the pants we got, though. It's a lot of armor, but... I wonder if the plus 5D is better than the plus, plus 5 stamina, plus 11 strength. The armor is pretty much double. Those pants are probably better. They gotta be. So we just have to find the entrance to this place. I think it's just over here. And I wonder if we'll be able to slay Necrosh today. Looking for group elite quests. I wonder what quest that is. What level is this guy? 30 paladin. Yeah, he probably doesn't want to try to fight Necrosh. I would be down to fight Necrosh, but... Oh, these, core, these raptors are 25, dude. I don't know. 23? <laughs> you know, these quests are worth doing. Thought they'd be a little bit higher than that. Oh, we made our way here. We'll pick up the quest. We'll see how it goes. I know we have to slay the raptors, and the raptors aren't going to give us XP. I thought they would be around level 28, but they're not. Need to watch out here. You could fall to your death. Terrible way to die. Yeah, this quest is... Uh... Just before the invasion, I uncovered a large tablet called the Goaz Stone. The translated text breaks off in four places. The See how this text quest speaks goes. of a divine plan and a doomed prophecy. I fear we are running out of time. I'm too old to go down and brave those beasts, but you are strong. Scour the excavation site and uncover the four missing tablet fragments. Ados, Moda, Golm, and Nehru. 
Search for them in ancient artifacts or where the soil is loose. Bring them to me so I can begin unlocking this the mystery. It shouldn't be that bad. We don't really have to fight too many of these raptors because we'll be able to just long run by them. Just have to look for piles of dirt on the ground. Could be hard to find because there's so many people here slaying raptors, probably doing these quests. Dirt pile there, no. Yeah, there's one. I think there's one up here, too. Another one? Yeah. I think we missed one back down there. I was watching a lot of YouTube yesterday. And, um... Started watching videos about just, you know, random private servers. Uh, and not World of Warcraft ones, just, uh... I think they're... Like, Gary's Mod. Um... The Grand Theft Auto... They're like art roleplay private servers. One of them is Gary's Mod. Uh, another one is uh, Grand Theft Auto has roleplay servers. There's like a Star... I don't even know what game it is. Star Wars one. And they're all pretty funny. So what these content creators do is they go in and they troll the servers. Some of them kind of suck at trolling, but there's some pretty damn good ones. It's a shame I forgot the guy's name. But he goes in and he just trolls these servers. And man, those videos are funny. <laughs> I recommend checking them checking them out. Damn it. I wish I remembered the guy's name. I'd have to check my YouTube. I should find out. I think it might be up here. I don't want to die though. What does this guy want? I hate when people just invite you, man. Just whisper me, man. You think this would be one, but it's not. There's a Sarl Tooth. That's one of the quests. Is there any dirt down there? Yeah, Bub Games. I think his name is. Man, he's he's fun. He's got some funny ones. Like not everything's funny, but obviously you can't have everything can't be funny. But so he goes on like a Harry Potter server too. Like I don't know, they're pretty funny. And uh, I didn't know that. Like I didn't know there's that many like private server, like private RP servers out there in the world where people just like you know hang out and just RP. Like, I always knew about, you know, private servers for Classic WoW and World of Warcraft. But I never heard about them for... I heard about GTA as well, but I never heard about them for, like, Gary's Mod or any other games like that. And people pay, like, crazy amounts of money. <laughs> these private servers like somebody spent like fifty thousand dollars on a on a private server in one of his videos i think it was like a gary's mod server some people spend like a couple thousand on like the harry potter one 
It's kind of insane. But hey, you know, if you're enjoying yourself there, all the power to you. It's your money, right? Do what you want. Is this it? Yeah, there we go. The Ados Fragment. But RP can get pretty damn funny, man. If people know, like, how to... I guess, act and play their role in, like, a, a funny way... Man, it's hilarious. It's almost like watching a TV show. And I really hope they, they take advantage of that in GTA 6. Be awesome if GTA... I think GTA 6 is really going to take advantage of roleplay. Alright, so there we go. We got all the fragments we wanted. There's some of these raptors we can actually slay and get XP, like these modeled razor mods. Wow, roleplay can be pretty good, too. I did a little bit of roleplay on the channel with my Dwarf Hunter. I tried to do it as much as I could. It was my first time ever roleplaying in video games. Like, in a video game. I joined a, a Dwarven guild where it was all dwarves, and I was a Dwarf Hunter. And you had to kind of, like, pretend you're speaking Dwarf. It was a lot of fun. Like, we would, like... <laughs> they're, they're, they're the best servers, in my opinion, the, the roleplay ones. Because it just adds another element to the game. That's that's fun, in my opinion, you know? Some people hate roleplay, but... I think it's funny. And it really gets you immersed into the world. And there's, like, more stuff going on. Like, you'll go into Iron Forge, and, like, all these dwarves will be having, like, a meeting... <laughs> you never see that on a regular server. And they don't mind if you watch, right? It's just as long as you don't, like, what can I do for you? go in and ruin their RP or disturb it. Have you uncovered the four fragments yet, Travisine, Ados, Modir, Golm, and Nehru? Ah, the Goa Stone is complete! Fine work, adventurer, fine work indeed! Now I can continue with the delicate translation of this Titan script. I can make out new words already. Hmm. It says here, Old cool shoulders. Gods, chained beneath the land. This is the beginning of something epic. All right, we're done. Nice. So that was kind of worth doing. That was an easy quest to do. Off to uh, Nakrash. And I think like funny tro like trolling of RP servers is where you're not like just like griefing the RP you're actually like taking part in the RP but in a troll but you're trolling at the same time hey I'm looking for Lucky Lock who died earlier know of him <laughs> yeah he's a good guy I've seen him around Slaying gnolls in the wetlands. I've seen him around slaying gnolls in the wetlands. This guy's like, what the heck is this guy talking about? <laughs> RP is awesome, though. But yeah, like what I was saying, when you if you RP and like you're like, you know, you're role playing, you're not like ruining the server, you're kind of griefing it a bit, but you're still role playing. Like the worst trolls are the ones that just go in, they kill people. Like, oh yeah, that's boring. That's not even that's boring. But, like, if you're role-playing and then, like, 
you're being kind of a dick at the same time. I, I don't mind that too much. It's funny. And the, the, the people who run these servers, they call them the staff. I think that's so weird. Because it kind of sounds like it's a job. But, yeah, they they don't know what to do with the guy because the guy's like, <laughs> he's RPing, but he's not RPing the way they like it. It's, it's interesting. I was beside him when he died. I wanted to talk to him. Is he on an alt? I don't know him that well. Probably, probably had to take a nap after. Oh, he found somebody. Nice. Look at this guy. Detective Bank Skank. going around trying to find out who somebody is. That's kind of tough, man. Like, you're hanging out with somebody and, like, say this guy dies and then I go on, like, a... This guy has awesome daggers, man. Oh, those are swords, my bad. Awesome enchants of the swords. Yeah, I just wanted to tell him it's never Petri. And I'm sorry... I'm sorry for him. I was like 10 feet away, then he said help, but I wasn't looking at WoW at the moment. Yeah, it happens. It happens, it was not your fault. Do not let it burden you. I think that was a nice thing of, of me to say. He seems burdened by it. Tank RFK, we can summon. Sorry. Not right now. I, I need to lay the crush. Killed my friend two hours ago. The first catapult is before you. Will you say <laughs> You place some of the tinder on the catapult and strike a spark onto it. Flame erupts and quickly spreads. Look at that main hand axe. Worse than the one we got. Nice sword, though. Two-handed sword there. This guy's like, okay. <laughs> Didn't know what to say to that. It's like, okay. It's too much information. This guy's amazing. This bank skank, he keeps talking to me about it. We talked a bit in a little area we were farming at. He died and logged in like five seconds. Anyways, good luck out there. Me too. Keep your head up. <laughs> so weird. That's so weird. Talking about RP and this guy just starts, starts talking to me out of nowhere. Oh, look at this guy. Are you a Necrosh fan? Fight me for Necrosh. Let's go. Finish these new, these guys off. Oh my gosh, dude. They're... Oh, they pulled like the whole thing. Get the Centurion down. This guy down. Get this guy down. <laughs> Calling everything, guys. We're organized. You don't wait for no one. Bear's got it. How's this bear doing? Ah. 
got him. What's that guy's name? Aben Abenthi. Tanked him for me for a good amount of time. What's this warlock doing? Is he attacking us? I wonder the Shadow Order was attacking us. That's where I run away in a crush. I don't think we could have beat him without this group. 32 elite? Probably not. Probably would have wrecked us. And there was no way we were going to be able to uh, CC any of the ads. Gee. Great workout. Out there. For the Alliance. <laughs> RP's awesome. They gotta make RP hardcore servers. That that would probably be the best server to play on. It'd probably be like funerals. I never tried RP on a, as Horde. I don't know what Horde RP is like. That'd be kind of interesting. All right, so what do we do now, guys? I guess we just keep doing quests. Get off of them. Tin vein down there. Damn it, he's a friggin' hunter. <laughs> Hunters are OP, man. I swear, like, probably, like, one of the best classes to play hardcore. They're fast, they got faint death, they have a pet to tank. They're, and their pet's the best pet. Like, Warlock pet is not, he doesn't even come close to Hunter pet. There's a graveyard there. Hopefully we never experienced that. Maybe we should have walked around it. Probably have bad luck now. All right, so here we go. We're going south. One thing we'll 100% we'll do, we're going to get the moss squash root, and then, I don't know, we'll check this place out for the scorched spider fangs. I don't know if we'll get them all, but get as many as we can. Goal today is to hit level 35. That is what we want to do. Now look at that. The power of the light. That's what these new expansions are about, are all about. Well, the new retail ones. It's all about, like, light versus darkness. It seems to be the theme. But yeah, don't get me going about that. I, I find it ridiculous that they think that they can charge as much as they do for the game. Like, medicine's cool and all, but, like, I don't know, man. <laughs> he, he didn't, he's cool. I like medicine, but, like, that was lame, man. I just don't like the new, I don't like the triple expansion idea. Like, I, I just, I, I kind of enjoy the, like, hey, you got to wait, and then we tell you about it. It's not really a surprise now. Like, what are you going to mention in the next three BlizzCons about retail? Like, like what mid the new expansions like kind of about? I guess to show it off. I guess we know the name of it now. We have a pretty good idea of where the story's going to go. It's about light and darkness. Probably we'll be dealing with the void. There's going to be some Titan storyline in there for sure because of the last expansion is clearly titan related 
and we're going to uh, take a take a look at what's going on with Sargeras' sword. It's just stuck in the middle of the earth in Silithus. I think that's where it is. Yeah, the sword's in Silithus. And I think there's, like, layers. Like, supposedly, I, I don't know if this is true, but I think we're, like, going down into the world where this where the sword is penetrated, and clearly it's, I guess, it's corrupting the world. Copper vein. I wonder when we're going to stop seeing copper. Wailing caverns, anyone? Who levels this guy? 23. Buddy, get out of the wetlands. It's dangerous. I guess, actually, no. It's, like, perfect level for him, but... I gotta get out of here. <laughs> I shouldn't be here. Level 19 right there. Yeah, no wonder there's copper around here. But yeah, back to what I was saying. Like I don't like they keep charging the same amount for the for the retail expansions. I don't think a lot of people are gonna be buying it. I'm gonna be tempted to buy it though, which is I usually buy WoW WoW expansions when they come out. But I hate what they're doing with the want to play three days early. You gotta buy buy the hundred like the hundred plus dollar version and get a bunch of cosmetics, pets, and mounts that probably don't even care for. I'll be honest, I like mounts, pets. I have. I haven't, wasn't really in, that into pets. I did try out the pet battles for a bit. I thought they were kind of cool. But I thought they could have done more with it. I thought they should have made it more like Pokemon where there was like gyms and... You know, there was like a storyline. Would have been awesome. But, um... Yeah, they could have made it sort of like Pokemon, but... But yeah, I've never been really into mounts unless it's like a an in-game mount that's really hard to get, like uh, Time Lost Proto Drake, for example. I think those mounts are really cool. Here's these spiders. There's no way we're slaying all these. There's just no way we're doing that. I think this quest is pretty much done. So there's no way we're going to... We're going to slay 50 of these guys. I wonder if I can buy them on the auction house. Probably not worth it. No, that's a quest item. Look at this warrior. This is when I should have been here. 25. Not 35. <laughs> Seems like it's a guaranteed drop, though. That would have been awesome coming here and just slaying spiders for a bit. Check out the cave, see if it gets any better inside. Probably won't, though. Twenty-one, 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 twenty-two. Incend, incendite mineral, or incendite mineral vein. Let's go mine that. Yeah, guys, I think we're done with the wetlands. It's time to move on. I'm not too sure if we're going to be able to hit level 35 today. I thought these spiders would give us some XP, but it seems like they won't. They don't really get any higher in this cave. There's some ores in here we can get, so might as well pick those up. Look at the size of this thing. It's kind of cool. I wonder how much this sells for. 
Oh, nine silver. It's not bad. If I was a mage, I would do this because you could just round them all up and slay like ten at a time. For me as a warrior, it would take quite a while to slay 50 of these guys. So I think this quest will end up being abandoned. It's too bad. But it is what it is. Take us way too long to do this. It's not worth it. Should have came here earlier. And we don't want crisp spider meat. I found out we want white spider meat for the Spider sausage. So, probably be getting rid of that too. And we learned spider sausage, I believe, at 200 cooking. Getting kind of close to that. So, what do we do now? I guess we just head back to the wetlands. There's no point in going north unless we want to check out these quests. Ah, we gotta bring a letter to South Shore there. I think we'll probably head up there. Yeah, we'll head up there. We're gonna be going to South Shore, so we might as well pick up that quest where we have to deliver a letter to, to South Shore. South Shore will probably be a good place to quest for a little bit. Not too sure where else we could go. I see there's Stranglethorn Vale. And then we do the Curzon quests. Or we head to South Shore. Soothing Turtle Bisque. That's a good food quest, actually. You should probably check that out. And get a new recipe. I think that'll give us 8 Stam. 8 Spirit. And then we can cook a bunch of that turtle meat we've been collecting. There's not, not really a bunch. I think we have like 4. Get a couple of cooking levels. So I guess we are going to throw away these. And this quest is going to be deleted. I remember when I tanked Firelands and the fire resist I got, it was mostly from like leather workers. It's like they gave me my fire resist loot. Blacksmiths too, I believe as well. So I don't really think that quest helps too much with that. But the thing is, I probably won't be tanking. The only way I'd be tanking, I think, is if I was like, I made my own guild. And then I'd be, you know, feel like I would be, be an obligation for me to tank. It's another reason. Like, I didn't even really want to tank. <laughs> when I started, when I played uh, Classic in 2019, I thought I was just going to be a DPS warrior and just join a guild, you know what I mean? But then my friends wanted to make a guild. We joined a guild, we didn't like it, so we made one. Then I decided, you know what, I'll tank. And I did that just so we had a tank every raid. You need somebody you can trust and who's reliable. Because if your tank doesn't show up for a couple of weeks, the guild's done. And if you also have a tank that like doesn't care that much and doesn't get world buffs, then the guild's probably going to fall apart too because you're going to have DPS that get world buffs and they're going to be upset that they can't do the damage that they want to do because your tank isn't getting fully buffed and pumping out as much threat as you can every week.
You need a really like dedicated person to be your main tank for your guild. And that's why, like, if I ever ran a guild and I wasn't tanking it, the, the main tank, I would give him whatever he wanted. That was another thing that bothered me. Like, sometimes I would, like, want a, an, an item that was, like, you know, good for DPS, but also good for, for tanks to pull more threat. And then I, I wouldn't get it. <laughs> or I'd have to fight for it. And, like, the, the, sometimes... You know, there is a balancing act there. Like, yeah, you know, sometimes you don't, like, you're already pulling enough threat, right? But I didn't have Thunder Fury, so I needed as much help as I could get. Like, once you get Thunder Fury, yeah, you can take a break. But if you don't have Thunder Fury, then, you know, you need, you need as many, like, good trinkets as you can get. Like, this piece, like, this was crazy, guys. There's a. There's a trinket off of one of these bosses. Oh yeah, it's Mexna. Is that right? Yeah, Kiss of the Spider. It's like the best trinket in the game. Tanks. Okay, you gotta watch out here. I don't wanna die. What the hell is the guy with the quest? The underground underwater. What the hell is this guy? The Thandol Span. Where are these people? But yeah, it's the best trinket in the game, Kiss of the Spider. Improves your chance to get a critical strike by 1%. Improves your chance to get hit to hit by 1%. Increases your attack speed by 20% for 15 seconds when you use it. That's amazing for a tank, man. Could you imagine like, starting a pole and you get, you know... You pretty much get the the troll ratio berserking, man. Like, but no, we gave it to a DPS. The DPS quit the week a week after. He was a good player. Like he he stuck with us the whole way, and he he played well. It's just the guy took kiss of the spider, and then just quit. Like, who does that? <laughs> I don't know. Clearly upset with the guild, probably. Wanted to grief us. Still killed. Still got, got Nax Ramus down. But stuff like that. And that's why I took a break after, man. I was just fed up with the crap. That's why I'll never main... I don't think I'll ever main tank again. You just get treated like shit. <laughs> Well, you get treated well, but you don't get treated well enough. It's, what, it's like you're the main tank. You put in a lot of effort, right? You should, you should. I would just, I would spoil the crap out of my main tank. If he was like, you know, getting world buffs every week and come and not and like rarely ever missing, right? Whatever you want, man. how it would be. So I'm wondering if they're down here. Because it's not like there's like crazy DPS checks in, in this game either. Right? There's not. Other than patchwork. I don't know where the heck this guy is. Ebenezer Rustlock's corpse. Is he just corpse on the bridge? Waterlogged letter. Foggy McCreel. Where the hell is Foggy McCreel, man? Seems like I gotta go... Like... I don't know. I'm lost. Maybe we gotta go down here. Hmm. No 
Don't do any abilities. It's good that he's pulling them away. Maybe we can get by them. Well, we're running back. Oh, guy died there. I think this is the way we gotta go. But yeah, guys. Oh, you ever want to run a guild that's like a raiding guild? It's pretty much like a part-time job. <laughs> so it's a labor of love if you don't really want to do it don't do it and you need help don't do it by yourself because if you do it by yourself then it's a full time job you need at least two to three friends willing to help you with, uh, with everything I noticed anybody who tried to run a guild by themselves in classic back then they just burnt out couldn't handle it. I think the, most of them burnt out from Blackwing Lair. And then if they made it, if they were insane enough to make it to Nax, they burnt out in Nax Ramus because that raid was just really tough. I don't know what the heck I'm doing here. But we're just swimming under the bridge. Maybe we could have just jumped off the bridge into the water, but... A feeling I'm wrong about this. It says he's up top. What about the Sully guy? And uh, Foggy Macreel. Gotta watch out here. Sully Baloo's letter. It's in a waterlogged. It's waterlogged. Who the heck is that? got to be here, man. Dark Iron Dwarf right there. Is it in this log? Yeah, I don't know. Let's read the quests. Greg Gamson wants you to locate old Rustlock. You know the manpower. I don't really tell you where he is though. You can listen to A it. A tremendous explosion roared through the hills. Twas horrible, I tell you. Good soldiers died defending the Thandol span. Longbraid says we'll take revenge on the Dark Irons before all is said and done. We're in a world of hurt, though, and I don't see any reinforcements in sight. Longbraid sent all Rustlock to scout the Eastern Bridge to see if we could secure it. That was days ago. We haven't the manpower to search for him with Dunmoder under siege. Perhaps you can find him. Maybe they're up top. And I just couldn't find them. To say the thing, it's, the thing is, it's called a waterlogged. It's called a waterlogged letter, which means you think it would be in the water. There's a bunch of bombs here. Let's go for a little swim. There it is. Probably have enough time to get this and catch our breath. So it's good we came down here. I felt like I wasted my time, but at least we found the letter. 
waterlogged and war-torn envelope dissolves in your hands, leaving you with a few pages of a letter in your grasp. Written with pain, staking care, the letter is addressed to Miss Sarah Ballou of Ironforge and begins, My dear Sarah. And then there's like one more quest here, but I think it's up top. It must be above us. I don't know what. It's on one of the. He's probably on one of the sides here. I don't know how we can find him. Is there a way for us to get up from this way? No, probably not. I have to fight the Dark Iron Dwarves to get back up. At least we got the letter. This guy's level 29. Warrior, yeah. Looks like it's a Fury Warrior. If I can see their talents, no. No helmet. Oh, look at all the blues. B.O.P. Blue from Edwin Van Cleef. BOE chest, BOE rings. I think we have these legs, don't we? Yeah, same ones. Crusader belt. And, uh, and some nice hands from Black Fathom Deeps. Stinging Viper from Wailing Caverns. And Razor's Edge. What are these? that weapons? It's a BOE. He's got some gold, man. He's got some coin. You have to kill these guys? I don't think so. I'll get this one. What the heck are you doing? Get that guy, good. Surprised he didn't aggro. Why did he attack us? I guess it's just my presence as a tank. They just see me and I pull threat. Nothing here, right? Yeah, no problem. Thank you. We ran into these guys. I would, we would have been trapped and probably would have had to use our earth. Okay, so we go here. be a wild man to jump off that probably down in there or something like that on, yeah it's my guess it's on the other side and this guy he has to be like on the bridge so when we were down there they were like Go up. I want to tank no more. We get to go. Sorry, not at the moment. Didn't really have a story for him. Oh, it's down here. What a noob. We're going to fight our way there. Okay. Anybody else down with you? Is that him? Yep. He's an elite. Can we fight him? 
Probably not. I could try. Use a... Use a bomb. That blew up on him. Didn't do much. Let's try fighting him. Probably kill him. Could use everything. And shield wall. Nice job, buddy. Gives me a stun. Crippling poison, too. Nice. So I can run away. Times get tough. Got a health pot. Is he going to blow himself up? Yep. Good. Didn't have to use a health pot. What a terrible way to die. Kamikaze, Dark Iron, Dwarves. They have no honor. You search the tiny dwarven corpse. Graved into the helmet, you can clearly read Ebenezer Rustlock. Damn right. Seems as though poor old Rustlock ran into a Dark Iron ambush. You notice a parchment next to his clenched fist. Report the grim news to Rag Gamison and show him what he found. Okay. That's all you've... Still no sign of the final shipment explosives. No sign of the final explosive shipment to the west either. Where are the lollygaggers? I'd probably kill you too if I wanted. Why are you so fast? Okay, get out of here. It's awesome how like he hits us. He does no damage. It's like a little like tick. Scared the crap out of me, though. I thought we were going to get ambushed there. I was ready to use uh, target dummy. I'm happy that we were able to get level 35, guys. Let's uh, get another rank of defiance. We're going to be doing some dungeons soon. There's two ranks. Got to level the rank up the last time. What's on your mind? Any sign of old Rustlock Travis? Oh my, the news is great. Heavens, no. Poor Rustlock. Destroy the cache of explosives. It's quite a tragedy indeed. We must not let his death pass in vain. This parchment you discovered nice indicates piece. that Cam Deep Fury, the mastermind behind the original attack, arranged for a cache of explosives to be stashed just across the Thandol span in Arathi Highlands. If those explosives make it to the bridge, our major supply line to the north will be oh, severed. There. The cache must be destroyed, adventurer. Return to me when your mission is complete. You're our only hope. All right, well, we'll do that later. This will be heading up here next episode and then we'll hearth back and fly over to South Shore and slice some turtles I'm gonna head over here though we'll turn this quest in hopefully we get some nice loot out of that that quest for the to destroy the explosives gives us a pretty nice back piece six stamina one agility and plus one armor. Two stamina upgrade, pretty good. And I guess I'd rather have one agility than four spirit while we're in combat. Hopefully we get a good reward for this. Killed the crush. Stoutly done, adventurer. You have dealt a telling blow a to bad the axe. Or Orc clan. They may never recover, and the destruction of those catapults has made Menethil Harbor safe. You are a person of merit, and the Kingdom of Ironforge rewards those who serve it well. The Kingdom of Ironforge. There we go, guys. Level 35. Quite a bit of loot to sell. Maybe we should head back and... deal with a little bit of bag space here. Head back to Ironforge. I 
But we'll get buffed up for that uh, explosive mission. Need to make sure we're prepared for that. Fill your tankard and pull up a chair. We've stories to tell and kegs to empty. Chris spider me. Yeah, it's not even worth holding on to. Musquash root. Gooey spider leg. I guess that's worth selling. We have a lot of stuff to put on the auction. It's raptor eggs. So we can cook something with that, but I think we need some spices. I can make a couple of curiously tasty omelets. I don't know if there's anything else for us to sell here. Probably not. Maybe these mana pots. Actually, no. They... This actually sells for a decent price, so maybe we'll try to sell that. All right, guys. Well, that is going to be the end of today's episode. Next episode, we are going to finish up our questing in the wetlands and eventually make our way over to south shore but as always thanks for watching keep your heads up later